Remember that shave with Executive Man Shave Soap? Well, Sterling sent me a little something extra, and that's coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and what's here everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeStune.com. I'm back in another video. Well, thanks very much for joining me again. I really do appreciate it. If this is your first time here, welcome. Feel free to look around and to check out some of the other videos and please consider subscribing. Well, uh, in a couple of previous videos, I had a shave with Executive Man Shave Soap. Boy, this is <laughs> beautiful lather and it has got a really, really wonderful, wonderful scent based on Creed Aventus. Really like this a lot. And of course, all the Sterling soaps just make just wonderful, wonderful lathers. Well, along with that order, which was the Executive Man Shave Soap and the uh, Sterling Shave Soap's Pro Handle Synthetic Brush right here, I'll be using this also. Those two items, they gave me a sample of their Bay Rum Shave Soap right here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and shave with it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this into a shaving bowl and kind of discern how the scent compares to a couple of other Bay Rum products that I have. Now I am using the uh, shave bowl uh, system right here. This is really nice. Uh, it comes with an upper and a lower chamber that are separated like this. So you can put hot water here if you want to and then use it as a scuttle or you can just use this by itself, or you can use this by itself, drop in a, a soap puck, uh, you know, build a ladder with cream on either one of these. And I can, of course, again, hot water here, put that there, and you've got a scuttle of sorts. And of course, these two openings right here allow you to, um, you know, hang your razor here if you want to hang your razor, or you can even uh, hang a brush like this, right here like this. Eh, it's a 26 millimeter knot, so it's a little bit, a little bit large, but it fits. But of course, you know, it's not going to fit that way, but it does fit this way fairly well. Anyhow, that's the uh, the shave bowl system, and uh, we're going to use the lower part of it, and we're going to take this uh, this bay rum sample here from Sterling Shave Soap, and we're going to put it right there in the bottom like that, and I'm going to add some water. Now, I just want to kind of drink in the scent a little bit. This scent is very, very much like the Captain's Choice Bay Rum. Real, real close to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Very, 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 very close. Although I think that maybe this one here from uh, Sterling has a little more freshness. Now, again, I've had this for quite some time, and the scent is still there. Uh, it's still very, very prominent. And I shaved with it the other day, and it did a great job. Very, very slick. So this has a lot of slickness. And by the way, don't get this in your eyes, because uh, you'll, you'll know if you get it in your eyes. I do not use this for a head shave, because if that water runs off and it gets into my eyes, yeah, it, it you know, I, I, I want to say it pinches a little bit, but it really, it really can be bothersome. Uh, but this is a very, very nice Bay Rum scent. But I think the uh, Sterling Shave Soap, I think this has a little bit of a little, it, it, I think it's just a little nicer for some reason. Not entirely sure, but it's very, very close to that. I'm going to finish it off with the Captain's Choice Bay Rum Aftershave Splash. Because again, it's, it's similar. It's not identical, but the Sterling Shave Soap Bay Rum is similar to this. Uh, it's not like the Clubman Bay Rum. This is the Virgin Isle Bay Rum. A lot of guys like this a lot, but it's not, it's not, it's, it, this is, this is kind of a bargain bay rum. It's nice. A lot of guys like it. it. It ends up in a lot of top five lists. It would be in my top five. Of course, I only have three to <laughs> compare here, so it's in my top three list. But uh, it is a, a really good bay rum that you can use every single day and not spend a lot of money. Uh, it is, it is, it's not bad at all. However, I'm going to use the Captain Choice Aftershave Splash because I think this scent is closer to what Sterling offers. It's, this is more of an authentic bay rum where this is, I don't want to say an artificial bay rum, but 
That's the only word that comes to mind, but it's still very, very good. I like it a lot. So that's kind of what we're going to be using here. Uh, I am going to be using, and you probably saw, my Vikings Blade Chieftain uh, 5BC uh, uh, Razor. This is terrific. And I'm going to be using a uh, Vikings Blade Mild Razor Blade. Now I have one in here that I've had several shaves with, so let's just take that one out because uh, I want to put a new blade in there. And uh, let me just set this down and let's get that loaded up like this. And of course, these mild blades, these are wonderful razor blades. They really are. They're good for about five to seven shaves. And of course, it's not branded, but uh, there we go. It's right in there like that. That's terrific. Boy, I tell you, this is terrific, terrific uh, safety razor. And of course, this is, um, when you compare this to the original Chieftain, you can see that uh, it definitely has more heft to it. I like the balance. And I think in some respects, this 5BC is uh, much smoother than, uh, the than the Chieftain, the original Chieftain. The original Chieftain gives a nice smooth shave. But boy, this 5BC, this is terrific. And with the mild blade from Vikings Blade, uh, it's going to be a great shave. Any blade in the Chieftain razors, uh, either the original Chieftain or the 5BC is going to give you a great shave. But these mild blades, if you're looking for something that's mild and sharp and efficient, check, check out that razor blade. Uh, you know what? I am going to start it off with the Cube 2.0 from Phoenix Shaving. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit on there. I like the menthol, and it's really, it really enhanced the performance of the shave soap. Um, I haven't used it with the last couple of shaves I've done with Sterling, but I think this time around I'm going to use it because we all know that Sterling really does lather well, and you'll see the performance of this regardless of whether or not I'm going to use the pre-shave. But you know what? I like uh, I like being in the habit of using the pre-shave, so I'm going to use that. Uh, okay, I think that's about it, and I'm also going to use a little bit of Lubriderm for upstairs. I might even mix that in with the, uh, the Bay Rum aftershave. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put some hot water on top of this and I'm going to let this sit uh, for about the equivalent of a good hot shower and then we're going to start to shave. I'm also going to soak the shaving brush in some warm water. So let me just do that and uh, I'll be back to uh, start to shave. Ooh, wait a minute, that's good and hot. That is, wow, that is really good and hot. Just to show you right there. Okay, I'm going to set that aside and let that soak and I will be right back to uh, start this shave. Gonna soak this brush in some warm water right now. Hang in there with me. Okay, we're all set. Let's get on with the shave. This has been soaking for the equivalent of a nice hot shower. There it is right there. Just gonna dump that in there. Let's go ahead and uh, wet the face and get to the shave. A nice bay rum scent. That is really, really a nice, nice bay rum scent. Very nice. So a little bit here. Kind of get things going. Boy, love this. Love, love, love this cube. Mentholated, activated charcoal, formula CK6 ingredients. It's nice. Kind of get the best of both worlds. The um, sterling soaps are tallow based. This is a non tallow based pre shave soap, and the Phoenix shaving soaps are non tallow based. So you kind of get the best of both worlds when you combine them. I like them. Here we go. Just going to go ahead and wring that out a little bit. And uh, there is my. Bay Rum sample, and we're just going to load the brush here. And uh, this shave bowl has a very, very, I would say, a very, very micro finish to it on the inside. So it really aids in getting a little bit of resistance and friction and helping to build that lather. I say like a micro finish, like that. It's like a, like a very, very rough micro kind of a finish to it. And look, already. I'm getting, already I'm getting a great lather from this. Look, look, already. How about that? You know, I should take, I should take all of my, uh, I should take all my Sterling Shave Soaps and put them in here. 
just take a little slice out of my shave soap and just put it in here and just leave it in there. That's what I, that's, that's probably what I should do. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, we're all set here. Let's just, wow, I'm just painting that on from what, what, I thought I was going to do a face lather. Look, 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 that's amazing. I'm just painting it. I really thought I was going to do a face lather, and I'm not. I am just getting a real, I mean, oh, man, there's so much on this brush here. Look at that. I am just painting it on. So there's really no interaction between the pre-shave and the sterling soap. All the lathering was done here in a snap in the bowl. I'm surprised. I was going to load a little bit and then do a face lather. This took me totally by surprise. Boy, is that nice. And it's got a wonderful, wonderful bay rum scent. It really is a wonderful scent. It's, it's kind of neck and neck with Captain's Choice, to be honest with you. It really is. I think it's got the edge, though. Oh, man, is that... Wow! That's fantastic. That is really wonderful. Did you see how fast that... La Boom! Lather! I didn't have to do a face lather. I'm painting it on, and this brush has been doing a great job painting it on. It just has nice flow through, and uh, it just... It, terrific. Absolutely terrific. We're going to set this aside over here like this. I'm just going to put the brush inside the bowl like that. Let it rest inside there. Wipe my hands off. Got my Chieftain all, my Chieftain 5 BC all loaded up. Going to run this under some hot, 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 hot water. Okay. Ooh, that's good and hot. Yeah. Just kind of warm that blade and that razor head up a little bit. Going to swirl in the sink to bring it to the nice, moderate, and warm temperature. Kind of thing I do. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, that's marvelous. That's a nice, mild, smooth, efficient pass on this. Just a wonderful shave on this first pass. Very, very smooth. Nice, just nice. It's the kind of it's the kind of thing you look forward to in the morning. It really is. It really, really is. And I'm using short strokes. Two inch strokes. It's about what I'm using. I kind of broke away from that and doing longer strokes. I kind of went back to trying to do trying to do shorter strokes. A little more control. A lot of nice slickness. I want to make sure I get the chin area. A lot of nice slickness there. A lot of nice protection. Well, that's terrific. And that's a terrific first pass. And the first pass is done. Let's rinse. That's nice. That's a nice, that's a nice first pass. We're going to go ahead with the second pass here. Should have enough here. Oh yeah, look at that. I got more than enough on the brush. If I need to get some more, I can go right into the bowl here like this. And I can, you know, swirl it around on that little bit of puck that I have there, that little sliver of soap, and just get some more. But boy, I've got more than enough here. And it's a nice, smooth, comfortable shave. Very efficient. Like the efficiency of this Vikings Blade 5 BC, the Chieftain 5 BC. Really do. Love the heft of the of the of the handle. It is heavier than the original Chieftain, as I say, 
the original Chieftain, boy, that just gives me some great, great shades. Oh, look at that. That is so, that's so wonderful. That's absolutely fantastic. And look, I'm just going to scrape some out of the bowl here. Look how much I got on the brush here. Let me just see if I can just, like this, just to show you. There you go. Look at that. More than enough. More than enough there. All right. Okay. We're going to go with pass number two, east to west, across the grain. Just so much nice control with this. The heft of this and the balance, really, really terrific. This Bay Rum scent is wonderful. It is not overpowering. You know, I'm trying to find out how to discern this from the Captain's Choice. The Captain's Choice, I think, initially is, is more potent than, than this Sterling Bay Rum. I think Captain's Choice has more of a punch when you first get it because it's brand new uh it's probably dissipated a little bit i guess maybe because i've had it a while but it really does have a big big punch whereas i think this one is is right at that it's at the perfect level it really is That's terrific. That is really, really nice. Does a nice job of getting up underneath the nostrils and getting those little bits. Now the end tabs protrude, protrude just a little bit, but that's not a deal breaker. It's not so much that it's gonna get in the way, really. I think it's. I think the razor head is slightly more maneuverable than the original Chieftain. Original Chieftain is nicely maneuverable, but I think this, this ups that uh, quality a little bit. Second pass done, let's rinse. Man, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done, but you know what? I got enough here for a third pass touch up, so we're gonna do that. I'm having such a nice shave. And this is so smooth, I'm going to do a third pass. Just a light third pass. Nothing, I mean, really light. I mean, this, this, was, this was really, really terrific. I'm just scraping this off in the bowl like this. And look, look how much I've got there. More than enough for uh, a third pass or two passes and a touch-up. I could probably do a touch-up after this third pass if I really needed it based on what I'm seeing there. Man, that lathered up like that. Amazing. Really, really terrific. All right, uh, this is pass number three. We're going to go uh, south to north against the grain. Just real, real light. Nothing. I 
I just want to show you that how much lather is there. Okay, that's the third pass done. Let's rinse. <laughs> oh, wow, that's, that's a terrific shave. That really is. Boy, that's terrific. That is, that's, that's just exceptionally, exceptionally nice. That is really a nice, nice shave. I'm gonna do two more rinses, one warm, one cold. Warm water to get the excess slickness off, cold water to close my pores. Here's my warm water rinse. That's terrific. Yeah, about three splashes and the slickness is pretty much gone. That's nice. <laughs> That's a nice change. That's really nice. I can't believe how much lather came off of that brush. I mean, that was really, really something. I think the shave bowl, shaving bowl had a lot to do with that too, though. Uh, just the perfect environment to, uh, you know, build a lather from that puck or that little sliver of a puck. Here's my cold water rinse. <laughs> Ah, three splashes and I'm done. Here's a nice, clean, fresh towel waiting for me. It's terrific. That is absolutely wonderful. That's great. That's fantastic. Now, if I forgot to mention it, uh, part of the post shave is going to be with a Phoenix shaving alum block. This is the no slip grip in the dry dock system. Going to run this under some cold water. Run it across my face, see what kind of feedback we get. It has antiseptic qualities. It'll also, uh, you know, close up any micro mixer cuts I might have from a shave. Those really, really small ones you may not be able to see. And here's where I like to talk about uh, stinging and zinging, but my gosh. No stinging, no zinging. That's nothing, it's smooth, smooth as ice. That's marvelous. That's really, really terrific. Well, maybe a little bit right there, a little bit maybe right here, maybe, maybe. But, it's ter but, but other than that, it's just absolutely terrific. It's the dry dock system right here. Just going to put that in there like that. Don't have to shake it off or towel dry it. Just put it in there and let the air do its work and dry it off. Here's the brush right here. And look, look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Gonna clean the brush, brush off and we'll be, we'll be right back to finish this shave. And that's fantastic. I mean, it's just, it's a really nice shaving brush. It really is from Sterling. This is the pro handle with the synthetic knot, 26 millimeter synthetic knot. Uh, this is really nice. Again, nice clean lines to it. Fits nicely in the hand. You saw how it lathered up. I mean, it just built a great lather from that little sliver of soap. Really, really terrific. Okay, we're going to go with the uh, Captain's Choice. Got to wipe it off because I splashed around a little too much here. Captain's Choice uh, Bay Rum right here. And uh, put some in there like that. Ooh, that's good. That's nice. That's a nice bay rum. I like that. And uh, Lubriderm for upstairs. Show that to you one more time a little fast. A little too quick there. Lubriderm and then that much there is what I'm going to use. Okay. Like this. This is unscented. It's fragrance free. So because of that, I can take a little bit of this bay rum. Just put a few drops in there like that. And mix that in and then get a bay rum kind of a balm there, which is kind of neat. Ah, 
Great shave. This was really, this was really, really good. I mean, fantastic. I learned something here, and that is maybe, just maybe, I should take some of my sterling soaps and put them in a shaving bowl like this, just a little sliver, and that way I don't have to do, um, you know, soak the entire puck, so to speak. Just put it in there, and, you know, you saw how much lather came about. Just swirl in there, build a lather, paint it on, and I don't have to really do a face lather so much. Really, really fantastic. I mean, this was <laughs> this was really, really great. Their Bay Rum uh, Shave Soap. A little sliver that they gave me as a sample that came along with the Executive Band Shave Soap and the uh, Pro Handled uh, Synthetic Shaving Brush. This was this was terrific. I, I really, really enjoyed this shave. I really did. And, and you know what? Uh, kudos and bravos to the... Uh, Vikings Blade, Chieftain 5 BC. You know, if anybody could make a razor to best the original Chieftain, it would be Vikings Blade themselves. And I think this one really does give a slightly better shave than the original Chieftain. I mean, I love them both, but boy, I'm really gravitating towards this one. This one's really nice. Of course, with the Vikings Blade, mild razor blade, my skin borders on a sensitive side. So that blade, this razor, perfect combination. Really, really nice and efficient. And it just gave me a great shave. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. The scent of the Bay Rum, wonderful. Uh, the Captain's Choice can be a little more potent and hit you over the head a little more. This one uh, does not. This one really is a nice Bay Rum. It's... Uh, it's not going to be so strong as to be off-putting. It really is nice. And the other thing that's nice, too, is that, is that it didn't get in my eyes. So uh, the Captain's Choice, that gets in my eyes. You know, then I've got some problems there. This one, uh, it, I don't know if it got into my eyes or not, but I didn't have any problem with it uh, this time around with, uh, this, with this particular big room. With Captain's Choice, I have to be a little more careful. Just a little side note regarding that. Uh, the Cube did a great job. I thought perhaps doing a face lather that... The, um, the cube would mix in with the shave soap so you wouldn't know which one is really building a lather, but clearly you could see that right from here, that lather just, just, it just sprung right off of the, the, the shaving brush. It just built up in an instant. And look, I have plenty of uh, shave soap sliver there, so uh, you know I'm gonna be using this again in this bowl. So uh, that worked out really nice. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please uh, like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comic strip George, other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Great shaving soaps, free shave soaps, razors, brushes. They have it all. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's Ready, where you'll find all the products I review on this channel, organized and categorized. You can find everything in a snap very easily. Check out Sterling Shave Soap Company. Boy, this Bay Rum was really great. They got some great shave soaps up there. Ah, wonderful, wonderful Bay Rum scent. This was really, really terrific. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.